So you're thinking about moving to the North Houston area and you want a master plan community with all the bells and whistles, with affordable price points within earshot distance of the woodlands? Well, I've got some great news because not only does this community exist, but it actually has some of the most affordable pricing I see in our Houston market today. In fact, at the time of shooting this video, on the ground they have homes below $240,000. Yes, that's right. You can get a brand new construction home, move in ready for under 250 grand within earshot distance of the woodlands. So if that excites you, if you wanna check more of this out, I'm gonna go through this community all the way through the details of the amenities, the builders, the different size products, the price ranges, and you're gonna to wanna to stick around to the end because I'm gonna give you a sneak peek tour of different size home products and price points so that you know what your money gets you. So let's get into it right now. All right, guys, so let's get right into it. The community I'm gonna be talking about today is called Mavera. It's a Pulte Corporation development. You've got four different builders, well, technically three, but four different options, and we'll get into that later on in the video, but this is an amazing development, y'all. It's a master plan community. It's got great amenities. It's not gonna be oversized by any means, but it's got a lot of growth as it just began. And one of the things I like about Pulte developments is they're pretty good about throwing those amenities in right away once the community opens. So they did that within the first section. And so you're not sitting around and waiting for those amenities to come like a lot of other developers do. Unfortunately, you're paying out that HOA and you're just waiting for these amenities to come and they went ahead and put them in right away, which is super nice. So the first thing I like to talk about, obviously in my videos is the location because for all of you commuters out there that are, you know, you're gonna have to commute. As I said, this is in the North Houston area and it's technically in the Southeast area of Conroe. Okay, so we'll throw it up on a map so that you can see this, but it's got a lot of pros to its location, right? So it's about equidistance in where it sits on 242 and 1314. It's equidistance between 59 and 45 for the most part. It's a little bit closer to 45. And so as I said in the beginning of this video, you're within earshot, about 15 minutes of the Woodlands Mall. So you can get over to the Woodlands Mall and enjoy those amenities, Market Street, uh, Cynthia Woods, Mitchell Pavilion, all those things under 20 minutes in most cases. So like I said, you can get to I-45 where you run north and south and you can get into downtown Houston in as little as 45 minutes. Um, you can get to 59 pretty quickly if you need to head um, more on that east side of town. And then furthermore, 15 minutes south of you, you've got the Grand Parkway 99. So that's a new uh, tollway. You can pop onto that, head east or west. And so again, just the proximity to all these major highways that you have at your disposal couldn't really be better in terms of commuting or getting from one side to the other of town. And a couple of other cool aspects of this location, again, you're just kind of sitting in the middle of everything. You can get to the Bush Intercontinental Airport within 30 minutes. So if you're a traveler, this could be great. I mean, honestly, you just kind of head south, pop onto the Hardy Toll Road, and it's a straight shot. So, uh, you know, in some cases, if you're traveling very early in the morning or not during rush hour, I mean, you can, get it, you can get to the airport in another 30 minutes. Another really cool part about its location is you're within about 30 minutes of Lake Conroe's Water Point Marina off of 105. So that's where all the shopping and dining is at. If you wanna rent a boat or go to some of the parks out there, it's a great destinational lake. In fact, it's probably the most sought out lake in Houston during the summer to go to. And so you're within 30 minutes of that lake. And so, you know, you've got the woodlands, you've got the lake, you've got the airport, you've got proximity to all the highways. And so this location is actually pretty darn good in terms of getting from one place to another or commuting. Now, with any location, there's cons, right? Not just pros. So I'm gonna be transparent with you guys. During rush hour traffic in the early morning and evening hours, you're gonna run into a lot of traffic at that junction of 242 and I-45 and probably also at the 242 and 59 junction as well. But you know, if you're trying to go to the woodlands at the wrong time of day, it could take you double the time, right? There's just gonna be a lot of traffic. You actually have a Costco right there. You've got a medical center. So you've got the Methodist Hospital. I guess that's a pro because you're within 10, 15 minutes of a major hospital right there. But um, at the end of the day, if you head out at the wrong time of day, you're gonna run into some rush hour. There's just no ifs, ands, or buts about it or avoiding it. So my um, you know, advice to you is don't drive during rush hour. There's also some 
extended routes you could take. Let's call it the scenic route to go around these things with some back roads. One of the pros of being on 1314, for example, that's more of a, um, not a major highway. It's kind of a back road that runs uh, alongside, you know, east and west of Conroe and can get you over to like the Kingwood side of town or Porter relatively easy without getting on any major highways. And so sometimes that might be a good alternative for you in terms of traveling and getting from one side to the other is taking some of these back road routes that you have access because of your location. The last con I would say is there is a lot of construction going on because of the growth going on out here. So they are actually trying to widen parts of 1314 and 242 kind of right around this area because you not only have Mavera, you've got Evergreen and Artavia close by, Harper's just finished up. So there's a lot of communities popping up because it is a nice side of town. It's beautiful. They're keeping a lot of the trees and the reserves around. Uh, so a lot of the areas in this community just back up to a forest of pine trees, which is absolutely beautiful. And hence, that's probably why they're, you know, they have the land, they have the beauty, and it's just a, a great spot location-wise, as I mentioned, to get to and fro everywhere that it's, it's a really good spot to develop a community. And so with all that, there's going to be some pain points if you move here within the next probably one to two years, you're going to kind of have to deal with the construction, which does cause a little bit more of that traffic. But once all of it's done, I think it will be suitable for the growth happening out here. And I think we'll see much smoother traffic conditions going forward. Okay, so let's get into the amenities because as I said in the beginning of this video, it's got great amenities. It's a master plan community. It's not going to be, like I said, supercharged or huge like maybe Wood Forest or Grand Central Park, but they put the amenities in in the beginning and there's actually more amenities coming. So I love a community like this that really starts you out with some decent amenities and then they put in more as it develops and they get more residents, right? And so what's there right now is an amazing resort style pool. They've got these cabanas and they've got hammocks to lounge in. Uh, it's on some decent acreage. I don't know the exact amount of the complex, but you've got a really nice pool. It's got this super cool slide kind of um, splash pad area for the kids uh, that we'll feature here in the video. And it's just, it's family centric but also just great for relaxing between the hammocks and those cabanas that you can get into. If you wanna just go like read your book and veg out and chill, you've got that at your disposal. And so this pool is nothing short, but amazing. Additionally, you're gonna have some walking paths. Uh, they've got some picturesque ponds with some walking paths around that, but you're gonna have sidewalks and all that good stuff to walk your dogs and everything uh, throughout the entire community. Also, you have these pocket parks throughout the neighborhood. So I wouldn't say there's like one main park that's like a playground and big, although that's probably coming with these future amenities that are gonna be around the pool that we'll get into in just a second but you have these really cool, unique pocket parks. They're little playgrounds and I call them unique because as you see them here, uh, you know, with the footage I shot, they're not cookie cutter. They're kind of all themed and made out of these really cool timber style uh, wood beams. And uh, you could climb, you know, they've got these cool little rolling hills and there's slides and they're, they're mini parks. So you can move from one to the next. They're all kind of within close proximity. But as you settle in each section, each section seems to have its own little micro park there for the kids to play on. Now, what's coming in the way of amenities is actually quite exciting because I just learned that they're going to be putting in a wiffle ball field, which is basically a mini baseball field. And around that, they're going to put a beer garden in. And so it's kind of this like German themed concession, so to speak. I mean, from what I've seen on the renderings, which unfortunately I don't have to show you yet because they're still working on it, but they're saying they're gonna be out here by the summer of 2025. And so at the time of shooting this video, we're kind of at the end of the summer of 2024. So within the next year, all of these things are gonna be in. They're gonna do additional walking paths. They're gonna do this with wiffle ball field, as I said. They're gonna do this beer garden kind of around it with cool uh, like pavilion style um, areas and tables and, and chairs. And uh, it's just gonna have a really cool theme and look to it, I think. And furthermore, when they do um, a lot of the events that they're probably gonna do around these areas, I think this beer garden is gonna serve as a great setting and a great infrastructure to host these events for people to sit and maybe even some concessions coming in uh, when they're you know, maybe doing some of these future events going on. They're also gonna be putting in two pickleball courts. So if you don't know what pickleball is, it's kind of all the rage right now. It's a mini version of tennis. So it's kind of in between ping pong and tennis. It's on this mini court. I see most people play two on two. So you kind of stay in your square. You got this little net and your paddles and you just go at it just like tennis, very similar rules. And it's a lot of fun. I've played it y'all. 
and I'm seeing pickleball courts kind of pop up in all of these newest developments and neighborhoods because it's just picking up steam on its popularity and it's a lot of fun to play and you don't have to like run around like a ping pong ball like a tennis court so it's not as rough on your knees it's not as much cardio so it's a lot easier to play and just a lot more fun especially if you can get two on two going on it's it's a fun time so i would say out of all the amenities that are offered here i would give it a rating out of one to ten probably about a seven and a half right there could be more uh, coming in the future you know more things that are going to come out but as of now what i'm seeing laid out for you here and what's to come i'm really excited about it there's obviously going to be communities out there with more amenities out there, maybe more pools. You know, I just did a review of Wood Forest. They've got three, four pools if you count the 55 and up community, but that is just what this is on steroids, right? It's a much larger community tucked away in a different area. And so it's a different thing altogether. And so for what you get, and also the price points out here, it's so affordable. I would rank it at the seven and a half that I'm giving it. All right, now we're gonna get into schools because that's super important, right? As a parent, if you wanna settle into this community, you gotta know that the schools are adequate enough and giving you the level of education you're looking for. But before I get into the schools, if this is your first time viewing my content, thank you so much for being here. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you get notified on the weekly updates, all thing North Houston that I post. Now, if you don't already know who I am, my name is Mark Archer, and not only am I a local resident born and raised out here in the North Houston area, but I'm also a realtor for the better part of five years serving clients just like you looking to relocate from all over the country and world here to the North Houston area. So if that explains you, if you're looking for Houston to be your next home, please click the link below in the comments, fill out that survey so we can get connected, or go ahead and feel free to do it the good old fashioned route. Shoot me a text, give me a call, or send me an email, and we can get acquainted that way so that I can learn more about your needs and we can see if North Houston is a good fit for you and your family. All right, so going into schools, we've got some decent options here, y'all, in terms of your public school education system. We have Connor ISD, which is an A-rated school district, and for the most part across the board, I'm just gonna be extremely transparent that on niche.com, this is a resource I love to give parents and my clients uh, when it comes to looking up schools because everybody has a different definition and a different expectation of what they want out of their kids' schools, different priorities, different things they're looking for. So as a realtor, I obviously have to be careful about what I say and all, the only thing I'm gonna share with you is factual information. So check out niche.com, type in N-I-C-H-E.com. It's a free resource where you can not only look up districts and look up uh, the ratings it's giving, as a district as a whole, but you can type in the individual schools that a community or a home would be zoned to and look into what ranking they get and why. Things like um, you know, their state testing, the student to teacher ratios, the lunches they offer, extracurricular activities are all gonna be things that help build this rating. And so you can kind of see what uh, is important to you and if this school offers what you're looking for. Now, going back into these schools, it's Connor ISD, which is A-rated, and then every school for the most part, at least on niche.com, is rated at a B to a B-plus rating. So you got B-rated schools, and there's actually a future school that will be on site in the neighborhood. I suspect it'll be an elementary school, but it could be a junior middle school of some sort. Now, these are the schools that you have. So for K through fourth, you've got San Jacinto Elementary. For five and six, you have Gragerland Intermediate. And then for your uh, other intermediate and middle school, you have Moorhead for uh, grade seven and eight. After that, you're gonna go to Caney Creek Conroe High School. It's one of the four, I believe, Conroe High Schools out here. And so go ahead, check that niche.com resource out. Check if these schools give you what you're looking for. But I think it's quite exciting that there's gonna be an on-site school. In fact, all these communities out here, Evergreen, just down the road, Artavia, they're all gonna have on-site campuses or schools for the kids. And, Anytime that you have that, obviously it's just gonna be this immersed community where everyone that goes to that school for the most part will be in the neighborhood. You have the ease of picking up your kids, uh, either a walk or just a quick drive away within your neighborhood. Uh, and so as they get older, they can ride their bike to school, all that good stuff. You don't have to worry about it. It's you know all within the neighborhood. So I find that really exciting news, uh, the fact that they're gonna be having an on-site school and I'm guessing elementary or middle is what they would put within this community. All right, so before we get into the builders and I show you sneak peeks of these homes real quickly because this does affect your affordability, let's go through the tax rate and the HOA. So as it sits right now with the amenities already in place and the future amenities come in, 
they're just under $800 annually at $795 for the HOA. So this is going to give you full access to the pool, um, all the walking trails, and all the future amenities coming, right? And this is all exclusive access. You actually need a fob to get into the pool. So you don't have to worry about neighboring communities getting inside of this pool. They don't have to just hop a fence. You have to have a fob to get in. There's going to be lifeguards and all that good stuff. So this is all exclusive to the amenities into the neighborhood. And of course, HOAs also help hold the value of your homes. They're going to hold people accountable for maintaining their yards and maybe not painting their house pink, right? And that's always a good thing. And so HOAs I find to be a necessary evil, but this is an HOA community and you do get really nice amenities for what you're paying for. Now, at the time of shooting this video, when it comes to tax rate, we're just below the 3% mark. We're at 2.93% and that's gonna go down as the mud bonds are paid down. So out here in Texas, we do have a little bit higher tax rates, especially for new construction. The mud bonds pretty much help fund the infrastructure of the sewage and the water and all that good stuff for the development of the community. And so that's a bond and that is paid down over time. And so you will see that tax rate go down over time in probably into the mid to low 2% range. But we also don't have state income tax out here. So I do find that most of my clients coming from a, a, a state that have state income tax do save money just having to worry about federal and property taxes for the most part. So as a time of the video, it's at 2.93%. And if you want to know more about taxes and how you can get a homestead exemption and save money on your tax bill on average 15 to 20%, comment below or reach out so we can get connected and I can explain very thoroughly to you how our, our property taxes work out here in Texas. All right, so as I told you at the beginning of this video, this is a Pulte development. And Pulte is probably, I think, the second or third largest builder in the country. So they're a production builder and in my opinion, they're on the value oriented side. They have a subsidiary builder called Syntex where they offer those starter homes or those first time home buyer price points as low as the 200,000. And so, like I told you in the beginning of this video, they have inventory on the ground right now for a Syntex home as low as $239,000, right? Now, besides Pulte and Syntex, Meritage just got out there and so they're gonna be building what I believe to be a 40 foot wide product. And then lastly, who you have is Beezer and they're gonna be a top notch builder and we're gonna give you a sneak peek of a Beezer product here in just a little bit. Now, when it comes to the size of the homes that they're building out here, they're gonna be building anything from a 40 to a 50 foot product. So there's gonna be 40s, 45s and 50s uh, depending on the builder. So for example, Syntex, that value ended lowest price point that you have in the neighborhood are gonna be 40 and 45s. Most of the 40s are gonna be one story, three and four bedroom, two to three bath uh, homes in those uh, mid to you know mid to upper $200,000 values. When you get into the Meritage product, it looks like they just got out there so they don't have a whole lot on the ground yet. But as they get into their sections, I anticipate they're gonna be building those 40 foot products, which are usually gonna be standard three and four bedroom, uh, one story homes, right? And those are probably gonna be in the upper twos into the lower threes, depending on you know the floor plan and what all they have to offer and the size of the home. When you get into Pulte, you've got 45 and 50 foot products. And we're gonna show you a tour of a 50 foot product Amherst floor plan. And they give you a lot of bang for your buck, just like Syntex. It's just kind of a step up in terms of the design and the, the fixtures and the finishes that you get inside. Um, and it's a great product and I can't wait to show you guys. And then getting into Beezer, they're gonna be doing 50 foot size products, um, one and two story homes. And you're gonna not wanna miss that tour because it is a very nice home. We're gonna go over the McKinney one story plan. It's awesome, great price point. And so all of these builders really work well together. Uh, I would say they package the right homes and you're gonna see price ranges from that low, that mid to lower 230s all the way up into the mid fives, I would say. And obviously you're getting the creme de la creme of the mid fives. Those are gonna be the biggest, you know, largest lots, biggest homes, nicest finishes. And so very value oriented out here. You get a lot of bang for your buck in this neighborhood. And for a master plan community, it's honestly some of the most affordable pricing I see in our market today. All right, so now if you're still here, tuned into the end of the video, you're probably anxiously awaiting these tours. And I couldn't blame you. Getting into these homes and having an idea of what your money gets you is very important because I want to hopefully hit those expectations that you have at these price points and maybe even exceed them because these homes are nothing short of phenomenal. So the very first product we're going to go through is a 45 foot wide Syntex home. They mainly do inventory. They don't typically do dirt builds, although you can, but 
it's more price conscious. So they're really just throwing up a lot of inventory homes. They range in the 340s to 360s for this particular Granville model. It's a two story, uh, typically a four bedroom, two and a half or three bath. And it sits just under 2,500 square feet at uh, 2,448 square feet. So like I said, this one's called the Granville model. As it sits, it's a four, two and a half. And again, one of the things I love about Syntex is just the bang for your buck. You get a lot of square footage. You're gonna wanna check out this game room in this Granville model. It is massive. And uh, again, for the value, you get a lot for your money. So I know years back when you bought these value-oriented brands or homes, you just, you could tell when you walked in, the finishes were subpar. You had Flamica style um, countertops and carpet everywhere. And in here, you've got luxury vinyl plank in most of the livable areas with carpet in the bedrooms. You've got quartz countertops. You've got really nice faucets and you know uh, fans and things of that nature. So they really give you a lot of bang for your buck. And like I said, the square footage for the amount of money, I mean, as this home sits, you can get it from anywhere from 340 to 350,000, almost 2,500 square feet. Again, with decent uh, finishes, a nice yard, a covered patio. You can't go wrong. So let's check out the Granville model right here. Next, we're gonna jump into a Pulte model. And so, like I said, Syntex is the same company as Pulte. It's a subsidiary, and that's their value-oriented brand. So I hope you liked the tour that you just saw, but we're gonna step it up a notch. We're gonna step into a Pulte home where the finishes are a little bit nicer and you're still getting a lot of value for your money, I would say. So it's just kind of stepping up in quality and what you're gonna see in the way of the floor plan and what's offered. So in this particular model, it's called the Amherst, is the floor plan, sitting at uh, 2,778 square feet. Now you could start this build, the base price starts at 379 at the time of shooting this video, but you can get an inventory home currently with some structural upgrades and finishes inside for around the 425 to $440,000 price point. Now this Amherst model is a four bedroom, three and a half bath. Again, it has a massive game room. One of the rooms has its own ensuite, and uh, you've got one. Uh, you've got the master bedroom down on the bottom floor. So let's check this floor plan out right now.
All right, the last one we're gonna check out is a 50 foot wide product. It's by Beezer. One of the things I love about Beezer is they're actually extremely known for their energy efficiency. I think they're one of very few builders that uses the spray foam insulation through the majority of the home to really lock in that and maximize the energy efficiency. So they're using a top notch quality uh, insulator instead of that typical fluffy bat insulation that you put into the home. And furthermore, they actually usually pre-wire the home for future solar panels. So when you get into the garage, there's like this smart panel that really just expedites the process if you're gonna go solar. And so again, they just kind of always are energy conscious and that's just their MO as a builder. They wanna make it easy for people to save money on energy. So we're gonna check out the McKinney plan. This one's a four bedroom, I believe three and a half bath, one story. It also has an office. Um, and you're gonna notice kind of some things pick up in the finishes, the flooring, the fixtures, uh, everything from in the kitchen and the bathroom. So let's get after it and check that Beezer McKinney floor plan out right here. Now, I hope you enjoyed all of those tours. Now again, at the time of shooting this video, this is some of the most affordable house pricing I'm seeing out here in the market today, and they're doing amazing incentives. Now, I don't wanna tell you what incentives they're doing because I don't want you to quote me You know, six months from now when you see this video and expect those incentives because they do change week to week, month to month, quarter to quarter. But as of now, Syntex and Pulte as a whole, I see things like price slashes, you know, reducing their prices. They offer you concessions up to like 10 grand sometimes in closing costs. I also see interest rate buy downs if you use their lender. And so it could be up to 2% lower than the national average. In many cases, getting you down into the low fours, you know, at the time of shooting this video when interest rates are in the 6% range still. So kind of phenomenal there. And furthermore, Syntex will even do some appliance packages and give you blinds sometimes. So when they're really trying to move some product and I'll let you in on a little hint, Q4, all builders are trying to sell as much inventory homes as possible. So it's a great time as a buyer to purchase a home. If you're willing and able and in a good place to purchase, Q4 is always gonna be a good time because builders are gonna kick up their incentives, try to push as much sales out the door to end the year strong for their, you know, their book of business. So with all that said, I really hope you like this um, video and this community. If you wanna check out the Woodlands and just kind of see what that's about, it is a much older community, but there's something very special about it. And there's a reason why a lot of people flock to it or wanna be close to it. So, you know, like Mavera here being 15 minutes away. So check out this video here where I talk about the Woodlands. And if you wanna look and explore more about North Houston, check out this video here where I talk about the top six reasons why North Houston is the best place to live. I'm a little biased, I grew up out here, but I do kind of lay out those reasons on what differentiates North Houston from the rest. And you're not gonna to wanna to miss it if you are highly considering the Houston area. You're gonna to wanna to know about North Houston, trust me. So thanks for tuning in and until next time, I'll see you on the next video.